Welcome friends to another session on surge and in this session we are going to understand what are compound surge so you would have encountered surge like 2 root 2 minus 3 root 5 now this is not a single surge this is a combination of two surges separated by a negative sign so hence how do we define compound surge so compound surges are expressions expressions Compound cells are what? Expressions. And they are consisting of, consisting of, consisting of two or two or more surges. Okay. Two or more surges. So it could be root two minus two, three, root five plus root seven like that. Okay. Right. And then they must be connected. They must be connected by, connected by either uh, plus or minus signs okay so these are this is how we define a compound surge so let us say let us take some examples so examples would be uh, we have already shown you one so 3 root 5 plus 5 root 3 is another example see uh, they may be of the same order they may not be of the same order okay so let us say third root of 5 minus 2 times seventh root of six this is also a compound set all are compound set mind you three root five into five root three is not a compound set is not a compound set why because it can be reducing reduced to a not a compound set. let me write this and i'm saying this could be reduced to a single set how you can multiply 3 times 5 so this can be written as 3 times 5 and root 5 times root 3 isn't it so which is nothing but 15 times root of 5 into 3 which is nothing but 15 root 15 okay so hence this is when it, there is a multiplication or division sign then we don't consider them to be a compound surge so what are compound surge expressions obviously consisting of two or more surges so hence don't think that okay only two surges should be there so there is three root three minus four root two plus six root seven this is these are all compound surges okay and you have to just take care that they must be separate by plus or minus signs then you will get compound surges now we are interested in operations of compound surges so for example i am interested in multiplying Two compound surges. So let us say, example, multiply, multiply. Let us say root two plus root seven, and with multiply this with let us say root two minus root seven. If you see, both are compound surges, right? Now how to multiply? So we will we will use all the basics of algebra to to multiply, right? So we will treat as if this is x and this is y again this is x and this is y so hence if you see it is nothing like x plus y times x minus y isn't it so hence finally you know this a minus b a plus b is nothing but x square minus y square so similarly what we, we can write here is as root 2 square minus root 7 squared so which is nothing but 2 minus 7 which is equal to negative 5 so we use rules of algebra to uh, operate on compound surges let's take another example find the value find the square of or uh, the question is find the square of root 7 plus root 5 this is a question so basically you have to find out root 7 plus root 5 square so if you see this looks like again a and this looks like b so you have to basically find a plus b whole squared which you know by the knowledge of your identities algebraic identity is nothing but a square plus twice a b plus b square right so hence here, this will be root 7 square plus 2 root 7 times root 5 plus root 5 squared which is nothing but 7 plus 2 root 35 because you can multiply the numbers under the same root and this is nothing but 5 so hence it is 12 plus 2 root 35 this is how 
we operate on compound shirts let's take another example where there is a variable instead of a constant so let us say i have to square square root of 3a plus x plus root of 3a minus x okay so we have to square this ugly looking term don't worry you'll be able to do it very simply so 3a plus x plus 3a minus x whole square you have to write isn't it so again if you see it is a plus consider this to be a consider this to be b then it simply becomes a plus b whole square so hence we can write root 3a plus x squared that is a square plus 2 times 3a plus x times 3a minus x right a b so if you see this is a square this is 2 this is a this is b and finally i have to write this as root of 3a minus x squared okay so what will you get you will get 3a plus x then plus 2 times since the roots are same so i can take both the quantities inside 3a plus x 3a minus x plus this becomes 3a minus x right because the roots will go because there were square terms now if you see closely this x and this minus x will just disappear and 3a plus 3a will become 6a so 6a plus 2 times under root now this if you see inside the under root there is a plus b a minus b form so i can write this as 3a square minus x square isn't it look closely this is nothing but if you see i'm writing it separately so that you can understand 3a plus x 3a minus x let us say this is a if you see this one is a here and this one is b here isn't it so it is like a plus b into a minus b so and hence it is nothing but a square minus b square right so what is our final thing so this is 6a plus 2 3a square is nothing but 9a square minus x square so this is what the final answer would be so what is the learning learning is compound surds what are compound surds two surds or more surds separated by plus and minus sign and then we use the common algebraic uh, laws and uh, principles to to do operations on compound surds